Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tayo. In this video, I will put you through how to install, how to successfully install um, and run MetaBase on your Windows system. Um, I decided to do this because a few days ago I I was in a serious mess because I could not, um, you know, I could not get by some difficulties. So after getting the solution, I felt like, okay, let me just put this out there. So if you want to install MetaBase, what you need to do first is go to the MetaBase website. You can just do that by going to your search engine and, you know, you type install metabase then when you do that um you have to click the one from the website see this is the website here so you click installing metabase then now this is metabase website um there are a couple ways of installing metabase actually but we are going to stick with running the jar file is the simplest and most basic way of running a metabase so you click running the jar file but first thing first you you need to have um java installed on your system for metabase to work as you can see to run metabase via jar file you will need to have a jar runtime blah blah so if you have a jar um java uh installed already you are good to go but however if you don't you can just come to you see the first um option there is um you have to have um uh, you know java installed so you can just come here uh, according to metabase the most um or let me just say they recommend um the lts um jre version so you can get that you can get that from this website eclipse um you know whatever so when you click this it takes you to to the website where you need to get your java file or your java file right up so you click here then you download the java file so when you click that um you see it will come up now okay so the downloading is coming up but since i've downloaded that already i'm just going to stop you can see it's just one system one mb so that won't take time but i already have this so i'm not going to download it again now when you do that you go back to you go back to the metabase website now the step two is to download metabase file which is the java file actually so you click download metabase as well then you know your download should start automatically but if it doesn't but you have to wait for a couple of minutes actually now it has started again i'm going to pause this and stop because i already have the file but if it doesn't start um automatically you can just start it manually here so when you install when you install metabase you have to go to your directories then you have to now when you download metabase it might just be like this in your download but what you need to do is create a new folder which I've called metabase here. Now when you create a new folder, you can you just have to move the file inside this. In this case, I copied. I did not uh, move the entire, I copied this file inside this um, folder. So when you open the folder, you only have, you will only have this um, metabase jar file. Then remember you, you have installed um, the Java file already. So when you in, when you download metabase jar file, you just click, uh, you just run it. Now when you run it, um, this um, this file will come up. It will show. So when this shows, you can now go ahead with your um, command prompt to to run the metabase. You can do that by pressing your Windows key you type cmd or command prompt whatever when you open your command prompt you type java then jar then meta base dot jar 
Now remember, this metabase.jar is simply the name of the file you've downloaded, which is this. So if you decide to rename this to something else, then whatever you have A is what you have here basically. So whatever you have here is what you have here. So this one is constant. This java.jar is constant. And this one is just basically the, um, the file name. So when you do this, you click enter. And, um, you know, um, your meta base should work. Now, when you do that, you come to, um, you, after doing that, you see something like, um, after a long, a few seconds, you will see installation complete. Then when you see that, you now come back to your browser. Then you, you go ahead to type local host um semicolon three thousand you already see i have it here so se local o semicolon three thousand press enter but in this case it's not going to work because i don't have my metabase um running but when you do that when you run it from your command prompt then you come to your browser type local o semicolon three thousand it will work but if it doesn't and now you, you will know that is from here. When you run this, if um, somehow, you know, for whatever reasons, it's not working, all you need to do is come back to this command prompt. Then you, you will include uh, in this, you will include my create. Then release release locks then you run this when you run this then you now come back when when you run this it will show something successful then you come back to delete this sorry come back to delete this then you run this again and when you run this again this time around um I believe it should work. So when you do that, then you come back to your browser, then look at those semicolon 3000. I trust, um, I believe it should work after this. Now, uh, what I think you should do if you want to be using Metabase on, you know, regularly, I think it's okay to have this thing. This is just a, um, you know, is a created, um, I use a notepad to create this so that um, I can always use this to run the metabase. So how you do that is go to um, met, um, to your notepad, open your notepad, then type that um, that running code we type Java slash um, you know jar metabase dot jar. Now, when you do this, um, you are going to save it. So you're going to click save as. So you call it anything, but um, before that, you can just change it. Don't save it as test document, change it to all files. Then you can save it as run or whatever you want to call it, but make sure it is dot .bat. So this run is optional, but this dot .bat is it is compulsory so when you do that you are going to have something like this then from there you can always in this case i'm going to cancel that then from there you can always use this instead of coming to your command prompt every time this time around i can just close this so instead of opening your command prompt every time to type that code you can just run this directly and when you do this you see metabase we open and you know everything will come up so it's working now so you're going to give it a few seconds to to show successful it's working few seconds please Okay, it normally doesn't take this much time, but it's okay, it's coming up. It's coming up. It's 
coming up, blah, blah, blah. It's coming up, okay? Seriously, it doesn't take this much time. Okay, okay. It's coming up. Oops. I just, I, oh my God. Sorry, I'm going to do that again. I somehow closed it by mistake. My God, we have to wait again. Okay, let me just put my mouse off that area. It's coming up. I would have paused this video and you know come back to it when it is um done but i just want you guys to see through so that you can you know you know have the have the experience yourself normally it doesn't take this much time i don't know why okay it's coming up now okay so these are the progress All right, so this is what I was telling you that you should see. This is MetaBase initialization complete. Now, when you have this, you can just minimize, go back to your browser, then the local host semicolon 3000, just refresh it. Now I have my MetaBase opened. Then I can go ahead and start, um, you know, my, um, data analytics visualization and all in this video i'm not going to do any visualizations for you i i'll find the time to create a video for that separately so this the purpose of this video is only to show you how to install and run um metabase successfully so don't forget the steps first you have to um you know the steps is actually in the website but sometimes you know if you don't see the practical aspect of it you might not get it so the steps is um step one is to install a java then it is recommended to to download the one that metabase recommends so which you can get from here you can also get um, another version from here as well so then after downloading the um java file you install then when you install, you come back to download the MetaBase JAW file, you install as well. Then you run it through the command prompt. Remember the code is, um, I think the code is here somewhere. I think the code, yeah, there's the code. So Java, uh, JAW, MetaBase, .jar. Remember this MetaBase .jar is the name of the file. In any case that uh, you have your um file rename to something else you just have to change this as well then um i think that's that so now in case it doesn't work you just go back to your you go back to your file so these you can actually edit this as well so in case you create uh you create this from the start and it doesn't work you can right click on this then click edit so when you click edit, then you add a uh, migrate release locks. Then you run it. So when you run it, you come back, delete the migrate, and you know, then you come back to it. So I'm not going to save this and save. So that's just um that's just the way to um install MetaBase and you know go ahead with your things. I hope you find this video useful. If you do please um, leave a comment on um, if you think I could have um, explained it better or done something differently, please leave a comment behind and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.